Memorial candles are outside the bagel store in Williamsburg, left by customers and loved ones of 56-year-old Francine LaBarbera, who was killed while walking in Gravesend. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Loving mother, everything for her, her boys, everything, and she would help anybody. Tuesday morning's hit and run came minutes after LaBarbera went to a supermarket to get supplies for this shop, where she was the marketing director. LaBarbera was left on the street to die, and now her twin 16-year-old boys are without their mother. They're not supposed to be this way. Special the holiday comes up. Late Tuesday, police arrested a woman they say drove the van in the hit and run. They identified her as 55-year-old Susan Leibowitz, who they say lives in this apartment in Brighton Beach. No answer. Then neighbors told us she lives here alone. Police say she drove on West 2nd Street, and as she made a left onto Avenue Y, she hit La Barbara. Charges for Leibowitz include failing to yield to a pedestrian and leaving the scene of an accident. The intersection where this happened is described as confusing and dangerous. They don't stop at the stop sign. They don't. And if they do, no one knows. You can see right now, no one knows whether to go. They hesitate. Who goes? And there's an accident. These Brooklyn elected officials want changes here. New signs and that's not all. We also believe that we should put a traffic light at this location. We should have speed camera enforcement. It's common sense. It will save lives. It has saved lives. The politicians said an internet donation drives being set up to help the now motherless twins adjust to their lives without her. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Dave Carlin, CBSN New York.